Hey, air miners. So back in June, we sent a letter to the UN. And the risk was, the reason we wrote the letter, the risk was that it seemed like the United Nations Article 6 Committee might come out with this kind of like recommendation about how to do carbon removal. And that like particular types of removal would qualify, but others wouldn't. Um, and so we wanted to make a statement that what we really need to do is to, is to balance the climate and we need plenty of carbon removal and, and to be to not be prescriptive about how it happens, but that we would help work on how it happens. But what we really need is a message that carbon removal is necessary. So COP28, those discussions and negotiations continued. And now we have a bit of a next step on the outcome of that. So the outcome is the UN has not issued any kind of statement, uh, pro-carbon removal, pro anti-carbon, like for a particular re removal method or, or not anything like that. And so really the, the takeaway here is, and maybe because of our letter, but that the, 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 what happens next for carbon removal in terms of standards, in terms of development is going to come from private industry. It's going to come from everybody that's building a startup company. It's going to come from the voluntary carbon market. And so really this is, this is in our hands. And so that's a win because we have really a, a kind of conclusive outcome from these negotiations, which is yeah, we're, they're not making any recommendations either way about carbon removal. Uh, at Air Miners, we hosted uh, Olga, who is the uh, chairperson of the Article 6 Committee, along with uh, Helen and Eva, uh, and we all talked about this outcome from COP28, which is really uh, the future of carbon removal is in the hands of voluntary carbon markets. So to me, the takeaway is, if you're out in the field somewhere, if you're working in soils, you're working in oceans, you're working in a direct air capture system, you're working in a river somewhere, like this stuff is in your hands. The development, the where the standards that the world sets for carbon removal, where those come from, it's going to come from the data that you're getting. It's going to come from the field experience that you're getting. Those, those partnerships, those customers you have from the voluntary carbon market, that's where it's going to come from. And now we have a nice conclusive, or at least a lot more clarity on that. So don't wait up for um, the UN to make recommendations either way. What really is, a, you know, the, the, the next couple of years of development are really going to be pushed by the voluntary carbon market. So that's all the, you know, all the customers and, and um, players that you've already been connecting with. So it's really an opportunity to, to double down with them and, and commit to working with the, with the voluntary carbon markets.